More than 46 girls were taken to the hospital in Kabul Wednesday after a suspected gas poisoning at their school and what some say is another apparent attack by hardline Islamists opposed to female education. We were in our classroom when I smelled a bad smell. Our teacher walked outside the class to find out whether the smell was just in our classroom or everywhere at the school. When she found out that the smell was everywhere at the school, she informed the principal and then took us out of the classroom. The Taliban banned education for girls during their Afghan rule from 1996 through 2001 but have condemned similar attacks in the past. The Taliban has, however, set fire to dozens of schools, threatened teachers, and even attacked schoolgirls in rural areas. NATO Brigadier General Joseph Blatz in Kabul was made available to Reuters by the Pentagon. This, this is a very unfortunate thing. Um, we have seen um, uh, you know, comparable incidents uh, like this one uh, over the last four to five months. Uh, in, uh, you know, in various uh, locations uh, all over the country, and uh, they uh, they usually had um, you know very you know very so to say you know, unspectacular reasons. It, it's it's not so easy to tell whether this is really kind of a plot, an attack by perhaps criminals or or insurgents or whatever. Um, sometimes it's just a broken uh, gas tube. Um, we are looking into this. Um, it's, it's concerning. Wednesday's incident followed a similar pattern to other recent attacks at girls' schools. There have also been cases where acid was thrown on the faces of school girls. The Afghan government has not released any comment on who may have been responsible for the apparent attack. Deborah Luderbeck, Reuters. <laughs> If it was simply about money, every bank loan would be a guarantee of success. At GE Capital, loaning money is the start of the relationship, not the end. I work with Polaris every day. At GE Capital, we succeed only when they do. Woo! Awesome! Yes! We've got to get you out of the office more often. My turn to drive. <laughs>